This is Copacabana. I'm gonna show you guys how it look outside in a minute. What you also could do is 70 inch TV. It took me like half a day to realize. They got all of these crazy features, man. It's a whole vibe in here. What's up, guys? Your boy L checking. I'm back with another one. Look, I got a little surprise for you guys today. We got the penthouse. If you've seen the Rio starter kit, you know what I'm talking about. But today, I'm gonna give you a little tour. About to pack up, but I gotta give you guys a good one in here before I go. Let's do it. All right, guys, so we're gonna start right here. This is the living room. Um, you can see big living room, man. This is Copacabana. I'm gonna show you guys how it look outside in a minute. Copacabana. So you got the Lime Beach over here, right to your left. We right next to the avenue. You get a great view for the penthouse. I'm gonna break down everything for you. I try to clean up as much as I could, guys. If it's a little dirty in here, please forgive me. Next. You got the beautiful Copa, you know it's Copa. Got that nice white and black pattern. It's Sunday. The beach is swarming with people. It's super jam packed out here. Swarming. Front to back. Go over here, second window. You got your little bike if you want to get your exercise in. I don't know about you guys, but it's always nice to exercise when you're on vacation, right? 70 inch TV. Um, where is it at? outlets everywhere ac two acs in the living room they do got a camera they got a couple cameras which i don't like and we'll talk about that a little later but um let's keep going so next this is the living room area like i said it got the wine cooler uh in case you want to put your wine here beers whatever bottles it's there it's two entrances this is one we haven't really been using this entrance to be honest but um, I'll show you guys the other one. So right here is the bathroom. Just like a mini bathroom, it's three bathrooms, three bedrooms in total. So that's the bathroom, number one. I'm gonna show you guys how it look at night too, cause they got a whole bunch of features in here at nighttime that's turned up. We got wines, like I said, packing up, but this is the main room. I want you guys to get that good view out there. Hold on, let me get that good view for y'all, yo. Good view out here. This is the main room. Why I was lucky enough to snatch it from everybody. So, <laughs> why I said I got the best room, we gonna see. So, that's that over there. Kitchen, we gonna go in the kitchen right now. Like I said, I try to clean up, bear with me guys. Kitchen right here, big kitchen. Um, look, they got a, oh, I don't know how my towel got thrown on the floor, the disrespect. But they got a um, washer, no dryer. But what they do have right here is uh, a, a dryer that you can actually like extend down and you can hang your clothes and that's been working good for us. So um, full kitchen, sand everywhere, of course. That just happens out here. All right, so uh, what else? All right, let's head back here. We got my bathroom. So this is like a personal bathroom here. This whole room is an apartment in itself. So that's why I said this is better. <laughs> So we got the, the bathroom here, the nice shower. This is one of the best bathrooms I've seen in, uh, in Rio, honestly. And yeah, you can lock the doors right here. Every room got a lock on it. So that's that. In case wives wanna bang on your door all night, asking for stuff. Uh, here, let me show y'all this though. This is actually dope. Let me show y'all this. Where the remote at? So as you guys can see, it's a lot of light. Some people don't like that. They got the blinds. But what you also could do is <laughs> so only the room got this that does those big windows out in the living room are not like this but the rooms do have this where they go shut straight down and close perfect and like this you could be in the dark all night and it closes like that and zip up like a spider-man suit but then if you want to open it zip down like a venom suit <laughs> and it just trade with this remote you can control all of that wake up in the morning open it up reviews now guys i said we're going to talk a little bit about this so as you can see more cameras um took us by surprise this this is actually illegal you can't put cameras in a bedroom no let me get this straight it's not permitted it's not illegal it's their property it's not permitted on airbnb to have cameras in a public in a private room 
So what we did was we uh, covered them with some post-its. Um, I talked to the host. The other ones, every room has them. The other rooms, she said um, the lady forgot. So that's that. Lady forgot to cover this one, but the other rooms were already covered. I'll show you that too. But um, yeah, this is the view. Not as nice as the other rooms, but good. This right here also opens. I locked it, but uh, this one also opens to the next room we're about to go to. So this is the the last bathroom in a public area for the for the public. It's not exclusive, but it is a nice little bathroom over here for the public. Going here, three people, so everybody kind of got their own bathroom, really. So, all right, like I was saying, these cameras. Well, first let me show you guys this. So in here, this camera was already covered up, so that was good. Um, this is the last room. You see, it's kind of like a weird bed. Obviously, it's a, a kid's room, but it's a, a double-sized bed. So just so you know, these size beds are kind of rare to find three apartments with them. A lot of real apartments have like uh, twin-size beds. So that's why you kind of got to just take what you, you could get. But um, yeah, big double-sized bed. And last... We went in the room already, but I just want to show y'all how they covered up this one, too. Oh, there's a camera right there. They covered it up. All rooms got AC, so that's good. And that's it. So, guys, the facts. I know you guys want to know how much did this spot cost. So, on Airbnb, when we got this spot, they gave us a little discount because I think we did... Um, a week we got like a week discount when you do a week instead of like a couple days you get a discount so all together the price ended up coming to the number that i'm going to tell you in a minute because i'm sure you how this place look at night let's do it what's up guys just like that i'm back we're gonna finish the video i snapped my finger and look it's nighttime <laughs> all right let me give you guys all right let me give you guys the final tour at night and show you why I wanted to show you this. Let's just start out here. So guys, I'm sure you can see this place turns into, and I'm gonna put, guys, there's so many features in this place that I can't even find all of this stuff. But first, let's look at the view at nighttime. That's the view at nighttime that you get from up here. Still fire, and today was super hot. Today was uh, 90, 93 degrees. It's crazy, so I'm gonna still go outside and try to enjoy the night. That's the view, get outside. But yeah, like I was saying, they got all of these crazy features, man. Look at the lights, blue lights everywhere, HD lights. It's a whole vibe in here. That's that way. Then look at this, even the bathroom. Got the lights. I'm gonna go back here so I can just show you this. I ain't gonna keep you guys too long. Blue lights here. Then it took me like half a day to realize that the shower, let me turn the shower on. The shower got blue lights. <laughs> this place is a, a gem, man. It's a gem. So let me go back out here because I know you guys are just wondering, man, how much it costs. If you guys ain't jumped to the link down, man, already. They don't talk about it. And did I do I think it's worth it? Let me put some lights on. Alright, oh, there we go. Alright guys, so we're gonna do a quick breakdown of the cost. So this place costs about 160 a night. Now, I know that sounds a little steep, but look, think of it like this. If you with other people, your total cost is not gonna be 160. Your total cost is gonna be more like $52 a night. So if you was gonna stay a place for $52 a night, why not just stay in this place? Because when you do the math, I'm talking about three people. If you got three people, that's what the math is gonna come out to, about 53. So 
that was kind of our mindset because it was three of us, although only me and Wise came this time. Uh, we had a third person, Nate. Yeah, I remember Nate. He couldn't make it, but we split that thing three ways and we came out at $53 a man. Now, is it worth it? You guys have seen my holes in the wall Airbnbs. I am not too good to live in a hole in the wall Airbnb. Uh, the difference between this and that. I know y'all thinking like, you know, we see you in a 13 hour, like, is it really that different? Is this really that better? D don't you want to do this all the time? And the question, well, the answer is yes and no. Why do I say that? I say yes and no because this place has its pros and its cons. Pros are staying at a nice place, right? You get a nice Airbnb, there's more security, i.e. security cameras all the, over this place. You get a nice Airbnb, it's guards in front of your door, monitoring everything, checking to see who you are, who you bringing, what you doing, all of that stuff. This building, for instance, I can't even walk in without getting buzzed in. There's no private entry, which I just call it entry. I don't know if we can call it private. I should be able to come into the building, but I happen to keep buzzed the door. So you constantly got to get buzzed in. Um, it's big, so that means it gets dirty really easily. Because when places are big, you spread the, the mess around and you can just walk past it. If you just live in a studio, you always got to see it. You could just ignore it if you actually live in a bigger place. So those are kind of some of the cons of living in a big place like this. Some of the pros. The pro is you living big. I'm right on Cabana. I walk across the street, boom, I'm at the beach. No questions asked. You get to flex. You get to, you know what I'm saying, show your muscles a little bit with this type of setup because it is a nice setup and it is relaxing and you get to feel good about yourself and you get to feel like it's a real vacation. Next, if you have anybody over or you're traveling with your girlfriend, boyfriend, you guys get a great vacation. You guys get an impressive vacation where you walk around and you just feel awesome about the place you live. My bad guys, my camera ran out of memory. Recording too much, but yeah, the last thing I was gonna say is look, at the end of the day, both are different and they have their own unique things that make them good and bad. So I would say always do a mix and always go after what really suits you. If you're a solo traveler, tailor to your needs. If you haven't had a vacation in three years, tailor to your needs. Go after what makes you feel good. But look, man, it's been a penthouse in Brazil. I hope you guys like it. It's Coca Cabana. Look down below, man. I'm going to leave the description for this place. So if you want to check it out, if you want to be a Coco Cabana living good like this, go ahead and click the link. I do not get paid for these Airbnb reviews. I got bad ones. I got good ones. So I'll leave them down there too. But we're going to close it here. It's out checking. I'm not a YouTuber. Please don't call me a YouTuber. If you ever see me, don't call me a YouTuber or say I like your YouTube and stuff like that. I'm a dude on YouTube just making videos. I'm out. <laughs> What's up guys, if you like the shirt you see me wearing in this video or any of my other videos, check out the description box below to get yours.